Welcome to Jesse Waters Primetime. I am Sean Duffy. Let's start with a Fox News alert. Joe Biden is making his way out of D.C. right now. The president spent a few hours in Washington today after a week on an exclusive South Carolina island. Biden stopped by the White House to sign a tax and spending bill and is now on his way to another vacation in Delaware. It's odd behavior for a president, especially one who just spent two weeks in quarantine. How much rest and relaxation does this guy need? Maybe these vacations aren't really about catching rays and, and hanging out with Hunter. This is how Biden hides from the press. It's much easier to dodge questions on a beach than on the South Lawn, especially when you're on a bicycle. <laughs> and there's no better time to run from reporters than after your DOJ raided the house of your political opponent. The White House's stance on the raid has been clear. No comment. It would not be appropriate for us to comment on any ongoing investigations. Again, we're just not going to comment on, on any ongoing investigations from here. Again, we defer uh, any in coming on this particular uh, incident yesterday to the Department of Justice. Again, I'm, I'm just not going to comment on um, any reaction to, uh, to what happened yesterday. We are going to refer any incoming to the Department of Justice. And she hasn't held a press briefing since. And it seems that the White House doesn't even trust Joe to say no comment. They're afraid he might lose his temper and spill the beans. So his handlers are limiting his public appearances until the media forgets that the FBI raided Trump's home. Instead of speaking to reporters today, Biden shook a few hands and, while well, the music drowned out any questions. <laughs> it's not just the White House who wants this story to go away. The DOJ is asking the judge who approved the warrant to keep the affidavit sealed. Why? It has all the juicy details. It'll tell us why the judge signed off on this raid in the first place. The DOJ says it's a national security risk for us to have that information. That doesn't make any sense. But we aren't surprised. That's their excuse for everything. What really caught our eye is their other reason for why we can't see the affidavit. It could harm, quote, other high-profile investigations. This is what it's all about. It's been about from the beginning. It's about January 6th. That's why the warrant was so specifically broad. That's why they let the feds take whatever they wanted, like Trump's passport. They finally gave them back to the president, but first, they leaked to the media that they didn't have them at all. Nor O'Donnell took the bait and spread the misinformation. It was never about classified paperwork or nuclear documents. This raid was orchestrated to dig up dirt on the guy Biden thinks is going to run against him in 2024. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.